Hey everyone, Thrasher here. We're looking at two different items today. We are going to continue discussing work and how it applies to a particular type of graph that you are likely to see both in this class and on the AP exam. And then we're looking at something known as gravitational potential energy. All right, those two items are on today's agenda. So starting off, the first part or part A of our notes, we are going to look at a graph and a particular graph. Let's say I decided for some object to plot the force acting on that object versus the displacement of that object. So I have force on the y-axis, that would be in newtons, and I have displacement on the x-axis. So as an object maybe is being dragged across a tabletop, I am plotting how much force is being applied. And I have this gray line here. All right, This gray line is my plot. What's in red and what's in green are kind of the shaded in areas under the curve. And we're going to focus on finding the area of this graph. And it'll be obvious why in a, in a second. Okay, Let's try and find the area under this curve here. Area under curve. Well, this is a square segment. I'm just doing what's in red. So I know that the area is going to equal the base times the height. Well, the base, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that's 5 meters, because the base is the x-axis, and that's in meters. The height is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 newtons. Well, I multiply that, 5 times 5, that is 25. If you carry through those units, that's m times n, or nm, newton meters. If those units seem familiar, they should. Newton meters is work. Hmm. Let's go back to our equation for work. Work equals f times d. Yeah, technically it's f parallel. Well, to figure out work, I take the force and I multiply it by displacement. What is this area under the curve? It is multiplying force by displacement. When you find the area under a force versus displacement curve, what you are getting is the work done on the object. Just like when we would find the area under the curve of like an acceleration graph, that gave us something valuable, the change in velocity of the object. This is also a graph where the area gives you something worthwhile. The area under a force versus displacement graph gives you the work acting on the object. Let's look at the green section. I have a green pen right here. Does it still hold true if I put a line here, keep my work done? Area, well, for a triangle, it's 1 half base times height. Notice, even though, yeah, it's a different geometric shape, I still multiply base times height. And that's always true for a two-dimensional shape. While there might be a fraction or some other coefficient here, finding the area, regardless of what the shape is, the shape of the graph could even be some curve. But you would always be something multiplied, some variation of something times base times height. That would equal 1 half here. My base is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 meters. My height is still 5 up here. Well, that's 5 times 5, that's 25. 25 divided by uh, 2, that's going to be 12.5 newton meters. I have half as much work, but it's still the work done on the object. Okay, so here's the key thing. If you are given a force versus displacement graph, key idea, the area under the curve is the work done on the object. Okay, it is the work done on the object. Now, to be honest, usually if you see one of these graphs, they're not actually going to say to find the work done on the object. You could, that's actually kind of rare. Remember what our work energy theorem says. Work is equal to delta K, or delta KE for kinetic energy. That's 1 half mv squared minus 1 half mv naught squared. Well, 
Since the area under the curve is work, and work is the change in kinetic energy of the object, this is true. The area under the curve of a force versus distance graph, or displacement graph, gives you the change in kinetic energy of an object. It is also giving you this value here, just because work is that value. So oftentimes, if you come across a problem like this, they'll give you a graph, and they might say something like, oh, if the mass of the object is 2 kilograms, uh, find the change in velocity. Okay, and you could do that if you recognize that the area under the curve is the change in kinetic energy. To be honest, this is one of these things in AP Physics 1 you just got to know. Because I guarantee you, you are going to see a question on the AP test which has a force versus displacement graph. And if you don't just know the area is the work and the area is the change in kinetic energy, you're almost certainly going to get it wrong. Okay, A key graph, force versus displacement.